G'day, my name's Higo. A few days ago, a mate of mine got in touch and said, hey, are you up for a road trip? Well, of course, who wouldn't want to see our big brown land? He didn't give me too many details on where we were going or what we were doing, but I was in. Let's go meet him. This bloke here? Well, his name's GP. He's a pilot for Emirates and flies triple sevens all over the world. But for the next four days, he's going to be piloting the Hyundai Santa Fe Highlander. Let's go over the plan, shall we? <gasps> I get on a plane out of Melbourne and head across to the city of Churches, the lovely Adelaide. That's where GP picks me up. Then we get in the car and we drive up to a place called Wallaroo. We stay the night. Then we get on a boat ferry and head across to Lucky Bay, then out to Elliston on the coast. Then we go north into Streaky Bay for some lunch and on to St. Juna where we stay the night. The next day we have to travel very quickly eastbound and then we head back to that boat ferry and across to Wallaroo again. Stopping in Adelaide briefly to visit his parents, we then continue on almost to Victoria, but we pull up skids here at Bordertown. The next day, bellies full of pastries, we head back into Victoria and at Ballarat we hang a right and go to Geelong. I say goodbye then I get on a train and go back to Melbourne on to home making the distance I spent in the car around 2,000 kilometres. But now it's the interview stage. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Grant Price. Hi. Captain Grant Price. Yeah. Now, uh, what have you got planned? Because you've only given me that's well, a road trip. Yeah, but you've only given me kind of small well, details. We'll just go, we'll see how we go. We're just driving. So we're off to Melbourne. Yeah, but we're not going towards Melbourne. We're, well, I've we're, just landed. It would have been really bloody stupid if I had landed and we'd just get in the car and drive back. Yeah, that's right. So we're going west. Now, I don't know. I'm not that good with directions, but I think Melbourne's east of Adelaide. Yes, that's uh, correct. So I'm going to go west first. Yeah, go west for how long? About six, seven hours? Seven hours. Yeah. Uh, so uh, we're heading for a place called Wallaroo tonight. Mm -hmm. So uh, Wallaroo is a combination of the word wallaby and kangaroo. That's how they came up with Wallaroo. Yep. And uh, we're staying at the Anglers Inn tonight. Anglers Inn? Anglers Inn. Now, I don't know, because you posted that you went fishing, so that sort of qualifies us to stay at the Anglers Inn. So we're That's good. correct. I haven't uh, done any fishing for a while, um, unless you count fishing for compliments, but anyway, no. So we're, uh, we're off to the Anglers Inn, uh, it's 6.30, Higo's flight was a little bit late, thanks Virgin. And, we'll blame um, Timmy. Tim, yeah, Heater, yeah. what are you doing? Um, so hopefully we'll get up there before the kitchen closes, if not we'll have to do a steak sandwich at uh, Port Wakefield on the way up. And uh, then uh, up early tomorrow, 8am ferry out of Wallaroo for um, Lucky Bay, which is just near Cal on the Air Peninsula, and then we're high tailing it for lunch at Streaky Bay. And then we'll get to Sejuna probably around two o'clock. And then, uh, I don't know, we'll see what happens from there. South Australia has some stupid shit. Yep. Right? Stovey poles. Yeah. We'll point one out. Uh, actually, we might not see another <laughs> one for a bit. We did go past one. Way. I'll put one up on the screen so you know what a stovey pole is. It's just right here. Could be there. I don't, know where, I don't know where Higo's going to put it. Could be down there. Be there. I don't know. <laughs> now, yep. why are they called stovey poles? Well, I think that it's because when they were first uh, put up, the uh, head engineer of the, uh, as, as it was, ETSA, Electricity Trust of South Australia, was a guy called Stobie. <laughs> is this a true story? Just I think that's what it is. I think I, I honestly think that's that's how it was. He was something to do with it, or the engineer that invented them. Now, there's not really many trees that you can make, especially out in the Mallee, out between uh, Adelaide and Melbourne, where we're eventually going. It's the opposite direction of where we're going. That's now. correct. <laughs> it's behind us. Um, there's not much in the way of trees you can make uh, big uh, poles out of, so they had to invent these uh, stobie poles. So I think that's how it started. Actually, while we're at it, things you do on Australian road trips. If you see a radar, you've got to flash your lights. But that's the other thing. You just did almost did the other thing. What's that? When you're passing, so if someone does that, yeah, you've got to give the that. you've got and to give the country finger. And if they go past without doing it, it's real easy to turn it around. Exactly right. Exactly right. Exactly yeah. right. This is educational for those wanting to do road trips road in Australia. Trips. Yep. So if you see a uh, if you see a radar, for everyone coming the other way, and I don't know I don't know how long you're supposed to do it for. <laughs> is it? Is it a distance or is it a time? Well, I do it to the next set of traffic lights. Oh, you just keep doing it. Just keep going. Just 
Yep. <laughs> it keeps going. So to be on a country road, there's no <laughs> next set of lines is what? I don't know. 120 k's. Or Perry? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, you wouldn't want to go that far. But yeah, so stove your poles and flash your lights. And fritz. And bung fritz. Farmers Union Ice Coffee. Now, why is it bung fritz? Don't know. Well, let's go outside for a sec. Yeah. Classrooms, just a shed. A couple of famous people went to Copara from the Bronx. Who went there? I don't know, but you know, the years that there's been there, since 1880 or whatever. There have to be someone have to from some note. Goes for around 17,000 kilometres. Yeah. Dead straight. It's the longest straight stretch of road on the air, on the uh, York Peninsula. We've literally driven into Wallaroo where we're staying. Someone had to get out of the car because he's taking a piss. Better? There's a skate park at Wallaroo. Wallaroo skate park. The guy's walking down the road with the tinny. We're at Wallaroo. The Anglers Inn. This is um, the Anglers Inn where we're staying. I'm up there, GP's in here. So we just dragged his table out. We've got a pizza, we've got some beers. And um, as you can see, it's pretty dark because there's nothing. It, listen to how quiet it is. It is so quiet. So we've just come into the room here at the Anglers after eating some brilliant pizza from the Saltwater Cafe. Uh, brilliant meat lovers. Uh, it's just gone 10 o'clock and we've got to be up in the morning by about seven to get on the ferry by eight. And uh, so I'm gonna have a shower, I'm gonna relax. This day has been amazing so far and it just keeps getting better because Rambo is on the telly. Looks like everybody's kicked a goal. How can you go wrong? You could stop down here and sit on that balcony and sink piss till the cows come home on a day like today. 